In a world of webmail, you might think the desktop email client is a thing of the past. But for managing multiple accounts, maintaining offline access, and pure productivity, they are even more relevant. Today, we're putting two of the biggest names head-to-head. -head. Mozilla Thunderbird, the free and open-source email client of privacy, and Microsoft Outlook. Which one is better? Let's find out. Both have seen some major changes recently. So let's dive right into the interface and the overall experience of using these apps day to day. Starting with Thunderbird, it has been on a real modernization journey. As you can see here, with its latest updates codenamed Eclipse, the look has been significantly refreshed. They've introduced a unified toolbar at the top, which cleans things up nicely, and a new app menu that consolidates settings into one place. One of the biggest changes we noticed is the choice in how you view your message list. You can stick with the traditional table view, which is dense with information, or you can switch to this new card view, which feels a lot more like modern webmail, showing a multi-line preview of each message. We also appreciate smaller quality of life updates, like being able to just drag and drop your folders to reorder them. Now, let's switch over to the new Outlook for Windows. The first thing you need to understand is that this isn't a traditional desktop app anymore. It's essentially a web app packaged to run on your desktop. It has a very minimalist, modern design that aligns with Windows 11, which some of us on the team really like. But using it reveals some significant frustrations. The biggest one for us, and something you'll notice right away if you use the free version, is the ads. As you can see, Microsoft places ads in your inbox that are designed to look like actual emails. The only way to get rid of them is to pay for a Microsoft 365 subscription. Another major pain point is the lack of a true unified inbox. If you have multiple accounts like we do for testing, you can't see all your new mail in one place. You have to click into each account's inbox one by one, which feels like a huge step backward in productivity. We have to agree that it feels less responsive and feature-rich than Thunderbird. Now that we've looked at how they feel to use, let's talk about what they can actually do. Thunderbird's strength lies in its powerful approach to email management. As we mentioned, it has a proper unified inbox that lets you see mail from all your accounts in one stream, which is a massive time saver. Did you notice the tabbed interface? Just like a web browser, you can have multiple emails, your calendar, or settings open in different tabs, which is great for multitasking. Its filtering and search capabilities are also incredibly powerful, and with tags, you can organize your mail in a very granular way. While the calendar and task list used to be separate add-ons, they are now integrated quite well into the main application, though it still reflects Thunderbird's modular build-it-yourself DNA. Outlook, on the other hand, isn't just an email client. It's a full-blown productivity hub. Its main advantage is that the email, calendar, contacts, and task manager are all built in from the ground up and work together. Let us show you this My Day feature. With one click, it opens a side panel showing your calendar and tasks right next to your inbox, which is fantastic for planning your day without switching screens. It also has a lot of smart features, like the ability to snooze an email to have it reappear later, or pin important messages to the top of your inbox. And of course, there's the big one, Copilot. This AI assistant is integrated to help you draft emails, improve your writing tone, and even summarize long, complicated threads, which is a genuinely powerful tool if you're in the Microsoft ecosystem. All right, a slick interface and cool features are great, but none of that matters if the app is slow and clunky. Thunderbird has a long-standing reputation for sometimes being a resource hog. We've definitely seen it happen. With very large mail folders, the app can use a surprising amount of CPU, even when it's just sitting idle in the background. On a laptop, this can have a noticeable impact on battery life. We've also experienced some lag in the UI and slower startup times, and sometimes it takes a few moments for new emails to actually show up in the inbox after a sync. With Outlook, the story is split. 
the classic desktop version that businesses have used for years can run into trouble, especially with very large mail files. And there's even a recent bug that can cause CPU usage to spike to 50% just from typing an email. But the new Outlook is a different beast entirely. Despite its simple appearance, we found it to be surprisingly heavy. It uses far more RAM than the classic version, often over a gigabyte while just idling, and it can feel sluggish when loading emails and calendar events. It's a strange situation where the newer, supposedly more streamlined app is actually the heavier one. Moving on to a topic that's more important than ever, security and privacy. Thunderbird's philosophy is built on user privacy and control. Because it's open source, its code can be inspected by anyone, which fosters transparency and trust. Its standout security feature is native support for open PGP end-to-end -end encryption. What this means, in simple terms, is that you can encrypt an email so that absolutely no one, not your internet provider, not Mozilla, not even your email host, can read it except for you and the intended recipient. You control the encryption keys. This is about giving the individual user the ultimate power over their own privacy. Outlook's security model is designed not for the individual, but for the enterprise. Its most powerful security tools are part of a paid Microsoft 365 subscription and are meant to give an organization control over its data. So, while Thunderbird's security protects the user from outsiders, Outlook security is designed to protect the organization from its users. One of the biggest reasons people choose a desktop client is to tailor it to their workflow. Let's see how these two stack up in customization and integrations. This is where Thunderbird truly shines. Its greatest strength is a massive library of community-built add-ons that can change or add almost any functionality you can imagine. Want to sync your work calendar from a Microsoft Exchange server? There's an add-on called TB Sync for that. Need to send personalized bulk emails? The Mail Merge add-on is fantastic. Want to turn your most used folders into tabs for quick access? Let us show you quick folders. You can essentially build your perfect email client. The only downside is that you are relying on third-party developers to keep these add-ons updated. Outlook's approach is the complete opposite. It's less about customization and all about seamless, out-of-the-box integration. If you live and breathe Microsoft 365, nothing beats it. You can attach a file from OneDrive, co-author it in real time, save an attachment back to SharePoint, and launch a Teams meeting right from a calendar invite without installing a single thing. It just works. It does have its own marketplace for add-ins, but these are typically geared toward business and enterprise tools like Salesforce or Zapier, rather than small tweaks to the interface. It's a walled garden, but a very powerful and convenient one if you're already inside. Okay, we've covered a lot of ground. To sum it all up, here are the pros and cons of each client in a nutshell. So, after all that, which email client is better? The honest answer is, it depends entirely on you. Choose Thunderbird if you value privacy, work across different operating systems like Linux, and love tweaking your software to be perfect for you. Choose Outlook if you work in a corporate environment, or if your life revolves around the Microsoft ecosystem. Let us know your pick in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this on your feed.